Testing, testing. Test. One, two, three, four, five. Please take me beautiful, right? My <laughs> God. Uh, <laughs> I don't like. Yeah, I'm bad at doing that. So uh, I'm trying to remember remember the synopsis somebody else wrote for it. But uh, do you know it, Dan? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Short films. It's sometimes hard to give a short description. Um, three words. <laughs> uh, fear. Gyalogság. Covardness. Fellowship. Responsible. Responsibility. An anti-war activist becomes an internet celebrity when a foreign video that she made gets linked to a speech that she had given. <laughs> I could give you even less than a sentence. I think yeah. I could try. So a, a woman who is waiting. Yeah. A story of a, of a person, a Palestinian person, um, who's, I'd say whose story is being taken away from him. And trying to give it back to him, in a sense. A living thing. Why cannot he or she fly, although he has got uh, wings? Yeah, I think it's um, really about how we choose to see other people um, in order to, to justify our use of them. Yeah. Uh, it's about a planet evolving, um, giving birth and dying and uh, becoming desert. Yeah, it's about um, the Korean shaman ritual. And uh, yeah, that's one sentence, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> we shot it in a mini DV because we were a volunteer in some other project. We didn't mean to shoot a film. So we just been there with the mini DV, a Panasonic, no, a Sony. Uh, what's the? Uh, Sony V1. It's an HDV camera, but we shot with. V1. We didn't know that uh, we have the function of HDV, so we shot it in DV. HD. HD cam. Digital HD cam. It's a little bit more uh, cheaper than the other methods. That's why he chose he chose digital format. Yeah, we've always yeah shot digital and. Yeah, because we like it. Yeah. Um, we were discussing to whether to do it on film, but it became too expensive, and we couldn't do it on 16 um, because uh, it has um, not as good quality as we needed because we knew, knew we were going to do a lot of computer stuff on it. And then it's um, um, we needed the resolution of the dread camera. And after we blowed up to 35 millimeter. Most of the footage is taken with still camera, so it was easier for us to, to take, for instance, Canon 5D or Nikon camera and put some um, uh, programmer to take it every 10 minutes and stuff. In analog, it's a bit more complicated, but in digital, it's super easy. We uh, kind of study uh, you know, how this uh, iPhone works uh, for filmmaking. Well, of course, we, we had some, some lenses and uh, we used some lights, you know, of course, lighting and uh, it's, it was like a normal filmmaking. So to, to have this like nice picture, 
then you need some good lighting and lenses and some kind of um, extra accessories um, that would make it really uh, look nice. But Woman Waiting, that's a different story. Yeah, that was shot on film. Yeah, that was shot on film. We had um, a friend of mine had won this uh, prize that was uh, a little grant to use uh, for technical processing. And so we had a, a deadline. We had to use this prize within a month. So we decided to make the film and to finish it uh, within a month. And so we had the, all this free 35 mil film. So it was just easier and cheaper for us to actually shoot film, which is usually the other way around. I find film really beautiful. Uh, so part of it was just that. And it also seems like it's going away a little bit or getting harder to use film. So I wanted, I wanted that experience. Probably. Uh, especially if I do a longer project, I would end up shooting digitally because it's so much more affordable. But for a short, it's nice to use film. <laughs> Well, I, I've heard of the Berlin Alley for a long time before I, w I, I, I was even into films or even before I, I wanted to make films. So I guess to, uh, when you start making short films, you get into little things, little festivals, and you, you hear of them uh, through your film school or through people within a certain milieu. And, and so I guess for the first time, I'm, I'm kind of like attending these events that I knew of before I even made films and people that don't watch films regularly know about. And so I guess... In a way, it's, uh, it's it's it feels good to make that step. You know? Yeah, yeah. It's it's always our international premiere. So it's always we're suddenly in a program with films from South Korea and films from Sweden, and it's yeah, it's just an amazing feeling. It really, truly, does feel international, and mm -hmm. uh, and it really feels like it's being introduced to quite a large audience. So it's it's always an incredible feeling. Uh, this festival is very uh, inspirative. If you see the whole city is is living in the festival and the festival is living in a city, so it's really good. This is the this is the one uh, point, and the other one is uh, every movie is a uh, very um, it's, so every movie the, is very. There are personal journeys. The uh, selection of the films are really good. They are really very original and new and something uh, is very something uh, original in a short film that you cannot find in feature film because sometimes some festival they choose sh short film which is looks like a feature film but it's just short but here is like there uh, Mikey Mia I think she's trying to find something very new and and try to do something else so it's very great to go to see those screening it mm. seems like it was curated cu curated pretty bravely I mean, all the film seems to be unique in terms of form cinematic form uh, the subjects and I and, and also I see it in our film I think it was a it was somewhat brave to bring it to the Berlinale and I'm really happy that they did it and I say that you can see it in many of the other movies as well in Sweden and there were some people in the business who were like oh, this is a zombie movie and they didn't see beyond that uh, I think they were pretty stupid but uh, <laughs> but of course uh, people t seem to uh, look past that so I'm glad for it. The traditional uh, separation between fiction, documentary, experimental animation is not relevant in our days when you know the, 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 the boundaries and the and the uh, borders are so uh, diffuse between one and another. And also uh, the, uh, the, uh, the first is to audience. Mm -hmm. uh, many so many people, like, uh, many people or many audience come and watch the films. And the theaters in Berlin are incredible. I mean, huge screen, stadium seating, really excellent sound. Like, it's, it's really rare to find this kind of theater. I just, uh, as a as common person, I know that Berlin Festival is really uh, kind of competitive and really nice and long time of history. And, you know, <laughs> it's just common sense. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it was, it was, for me, it's really a kind of honor to be in the, the f f festival.